Yeah, well, hey, neighbors. Uh, you all is having an election, eh? Yeah, well, what can I say? You probably all got the one I sent out from uh, Canada's last fiat election. Oh, I know what I was going to show you. It's, um, it's odd. I don't know how familiar our art system is pretty much like yours. They just change a few names around. And, uh, so anyhow, the majority government is like 50 plus one seats. 50%. There we go. Mother Nature's Tits, number two. That's uh, Anarchist. Anarchist Mountain. Yes. Mother Nature has such wonderful breasts. Hey, uh, Bear, you want to come back here and join the party? What you doing, pal? Besides, I'm um, looking for a bone. Hey, bear! Well, we'll have to make this short. I'll just say, um, he got the Stephen Harper government, or the Harper Conservative government, as he changed the corporate name to, just before the election was... the mass giving assignment of power of attorney by the people to the government. Uh, that's uh, well, April 2001. So 18% of all the votes that were cast, uh, the uh, of all the potential votes, so all the citizens who could vote, 18% of them gave them their vote. Well, there's some confusion as to, you know, we had... Um, Robo caller apparently had a short circuit and, 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 and somehow or another started calling people up and misdirecting them so they couldn't vote come voting day. Um, that was something to the, on a wild goose chase. Yeah, so, so that, all, all that aside, that vote tampering, um, 18% of all those that could vote. And he's got a majority government, so whatever they decide, he just pushes through. As long as there's no... Uh, the Senate, the next level up, chooses not to see any legal flaw with it. It passes it on to the Governor General to sign it for the Queen. Apparently. Nothing's changed, I mean... You think you have own your land in Canada? Well, no, you have title as an entitlement, a piece of paper that says you may have it. And then if you look really, really close between the lines. Well, no, you're just entitled to possess it. You don't own it. If you ask her, <laughs> uh, who happens, and, 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 and or yet I should say, the corporation crown. Uh, I gotta get there. So, anyhow, um, what can I say? The system doesn't work. Look at how fucked we are. 10% of Canada is the majority. What they say goes. I guess that's what Harper used to mean when he promised made pledges to run the government on less. <laughs> That's not quite what he said, but he had a little expression like that. And I'm sure if you looked, he probably had his fingers crossed behind his back or 
thumb up his bum or whatever. There you are, having fun. You'll see bears not on his leash. I can only hold one dog. And Cindy's the only um, um, aggressive offender that has to be on her chain. So, come on, bear. Hey, bear. You're kind of messing up the video, buddy. You want to do the editing? Well, so, I mean, um, what can I say? I don't know what counseling and a battle will do, because there's got to be a legal way to do that where it counts against the total. Um, it's screwed, the whole system. We just need to start doing our own our own decision making and being our own politicians. Go to uh, go to my website, uh, realcanadiandemocracy.com. Some of you aren't familiar with that. There's the link if you can still put links on this thing. Yeah. That's my idea, or direct, direct democracy done by you direct your taxation to whatever you uh, think should be. And then that's how society decides what will be publicly funded. Well, I hope you've enjoyed um, fall at the Desert Duck Pond with me and the dogs. Enjoy your Guy Fox day. Uh, well, there you are. Only well, don't, you know, don't like blow anything up, any valuable buildings. Don't blow your own buildings up, taxpayer. No. Blow the, uh, blow this fake representative democracy up with obsolescence. Just go do your own thing and I'm no one. Keep the peace. But that's, that's as simple as it gets. I mean, you want to make laws and stuff, then everybody needs to have an equal say to be able to say, hey, I think we should do this. And, or Hey, that's a great idea. Let's do that. And then if it turns out to be a bummer idea or something changes and it's no longer working. Uh, I don't think we should do that no more. I'm withdrawing my authority. It's easy to do with computers nowadays. They can control nuclear weapons. Nuclear reactors. Well, not too well. Um, they can transfer money and stocks trillions a day over the internet. So I think perhaps it just might be within the technical feasibility realms to make a system where you can vote and change your vote and verify it and, 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 and make it you know, somewhat safe to do with the internet. I just don't think that's that big of a thing to do. Now you've seen change.org. They tried to do a demonstration of the idea that, well, here, have your say, have your vote. Now, of course, it just results in a, 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 a think tank, an idea pool, accessible to anyone, you know. They want, uh, but, uh, well, I don't know. I just know that we ain't going forward very fast, or at all, or even not going backwards faster with what we got going now. It, it never did work to anywhere near potential. And it sure as the fuck ain't doing that now. So, thanks for spending this lovely fall day with us out at the uh, Desert Duck Pond. And um, we'll catch you another time. As you can see, I think I'm up to about, about 119 now. Mm -hmm. All holes are sealed up. So, I'm coming back to life. We're all working well again, eh guys? Well, not well, but not me especially. But we're all alive. And we just hope that for everyone in the world. And like poor Guy Fox, who was actually probably just the false flag anyhow. Back in 1609 or whatever. Yeah, yeah. Guy caught putting wagon loads of gunpowder below the parliament. Yeah. Yeah, that sounds feasible. That wasn't a false flag. 
And since when would a mason be carrying a heavy casket of powder? You know, what's that, like 40 kilograms? Haha, <laughs> the story falls, begins to pull apart from there. But the idea is valid as, as, as can be. It's, um, well, grow up, make your own decisions in society and make a society that can do that. Or continue handing over your power of attorney to some prick you don't know, don't like, don't trust. And, um, see if things don't get so shitty. They can't ever be reversed. That option gone. No matter how many, what may survive of your descendants. Hey, peace out.